हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन Extension method allows you to add new methods in the existing class without modifying the source code of the original class. Okay, that is the definition. But let's see the code example to make it more clear. Here you can see a string test, which value is hello world. Now you know a string is a class provided by .NET framework and has his own methods like substring. which will get a string from the left position in this case the value will be hello now suppose in our application at multiple places we need a method which will get the string from the right most position so for example if we will pass 5 then it will count the uh, numbers from from the last and it will get the result as world the right most five characters so we need this kind of method so for this what we will do is we will create a write substring method now we know that there is no such method already present in the string class right we don't have such write substring method and we don't have the code of the string class also uh, and uh, because otherwise we can add that method inside the class itself but that is not possible in this case so what we will do how we will create this write substring method so the answer is with the help of the extension method so write substring method is not present in string class but we can add it by using the extension method so let me show you how what will be the structure of the extension method see we will create a static class a string extension and will define a write substring method inside it this method will get the string hello world in its parameter and one another parameter for the count which is 5 here which is passed from here which is 5 here okay uh, i am not going to explain the logic uh, what uh, we are doing here because the purpose is to understand the extension method not the substring logic so that's it you have added a new method in the string class without even modifying the string class so basically you have added a new class and inside that you have added a new uh, method but that is referring to the string class only now if you run this project uh, or run this code then the output will be hello world why because the variable left value is hello which we will get it from here and the right value will get is world so the output will be hello world now few more important things uh, about extension method first of all extension method must be static method why because this will be directly called from the class name so if you see we did test dot write substring so for static method you always call like this there is no need of object creation so this is one thing and uh, the class is also static because it will contain only static methods only so that's why we make the class as static also second important thing is we will use this keyword here to uh, it is used to for binding this method with this string class so this keyword is used to bind this right substring method for the string class only so this is the purpose of this keyword so if you are creating the extension method of some other class then you must give the name of that class along with the this keyword so if there is any like for example there is some custom class you have uh, which name is uh, string b then you have to mention here string b class name okay now let me show you the same thing in the visual studio code so here is this, the same console application in the visual studio here is the substring here is the right substring which we have created by this extension method if i will delete it then this write substring is not present in the string class and it will show the compile time error so i will create it okay now when i will run it the output will be left 
space right which is left is hello and right is world so this is the output so this is all about the extension method if you have any question about this uh, extension method question then please let me know in the comment section and i will try to reply as soon as possible